Before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. It helps me out immensely. Thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Clara. Today we'll focus on center methods. The centering can measure the deviation caused by the misalignment of the PAP center in the center of the B axis, so as to ensure the accuracy in the processing. Tupro has a wealth of funding tabs. We'll introduce them one by one today. After importing the file, the software will automatically identify the file and match it with the appropriate auto centering method. If the tube tab can use multiple automatic centering methods, we can choose the most suitable method here. If the tube tab doesn't have a matching automatic centering method, please choose manual center and advanced center as appropriate. It should be noted that before any tube is centered, it should be ensured that the tube clipping is consistent with what the file shows in software. If the angle deviation is too large, it should first go through the steps of single service leveling or set current position as center to a horizontal state so that the tube is clamped to correspond to the file display in software. Single service leveling, it will correct the inclined planes to level and keep the tube the same position as the file shows. We will take the picture as an example. There is a triangle tube. We can see its display in Tube Pro. The long side is on the top. When we clamp the tube, we don't put the long side upper, so it's not cracked and cannot carry out the cutting. Because the actual fixture doesn't match what it shows in software, we need to drag the long side to the top and then make single service leveling. We can see the result is like this. It keeps the same as the file shows. But before we apply this function, we need to make sure all axes have returned to origin. The tube size is filled incorrectly. Nozzle is at the very top of the tube. Basic steps of single service leveling. First, check the file in the tube fixture. Second, if the top surface is not the same, please rotate the tube. Third, input the surface size. If there is no value shown in software, please manually measure the size and input it here. Fourth, click Return Center. Fifth, click Start Leveling. Sixth, Save. Square Circle Tube 4 Point Center is suitable for most standard tubes. The software will automatically identify the size and section of the current tube. Click Start here. It will go to find the center position at each section of the tube and find the deviation between square center and mechanical center. Square tube five point center is also for standard tubes, but uncommonly used. Its motion is similar to the four point center. The only difference is there will be a marked line on the top surface, which will find the center and also check whether the surface is leveling. Advanced center is called multi-surface center. It's mainly for special tubes, which there are at least two non-parallel sides. Basic steps. First, we need to do single service leveling to keep the tube climbing is the same as the file shows in software. If the tube cannot make single service leveling, we need to drag the surface to horizontal and set current position as center. We set the minimum width here is 15 mm now, meaning that the machine will find the center at all faces whose width is greater or equal to 15 mm. Click Start and Save. Ellipse Center. Before applying this function, please drag the ellipse tube to a state where the long side is basically horizontal 
and then do single service lovely. Before funding the center, please ensure that all axes return to the mechanical origin. The size is input correctly, and the nozzle of the canning head is directly above the tube. Angle steel center is suitable for angle 60 to 150 steel. We can choose the center style according to the climbing way. Input the values of both eyes. Click Start. We'll get the offset values here. Symmetric arc center is suitable for special shaped tubes whose tube surfaces are raw arc shaped and have no flight surfaces and are symmetrical about the YOZ plane. Before centering, the widest side needs to be facing up. We can manually jog to the position where the white surface is basically horizontal and tick level. If there is a specific holding tool that will keep the white surface at a specific angle to the horizontal every time, we can use rotation angle to rotate the tube to the white surface substantially horizontal before leveling. Each beam center is exclusive for the H-shaped steel. All steps will be the same. The climbing position should be the same as the fell shows. Click Start and Save. Here is a short video to show the cutting of H-shaped steel. Manual center here will be applied if there are some special tubes that cannot be auto center. First, we need to do single service leveling to keep the tube climbing is the same as the file shows in software. If the tube cannot make single service leveling, we need to jog the service to horizontal and set current position as center. Then moving the cutting head to the tube center in X direction. Note the current X mechanical coordinates. We need to calculate the X offset based on the values from calibrate B axis center. Input the calculated value here. Center offset X should be the result that the coordinates of B axis center subtracts the coordinates of X mechanical center. Manual center here is different. It's suitable for some special, special tubes. Like this tube, the software will find the highest points in the four size and take one as the base. Let's say we choose red point. We move the cutting head directly above the red point, click start, and save. 